Hey guys, welcome to the ninth video of my series on introduction to Matplotlib. And in this video, we're going to see how to draw subplots using Matplotlib library in Python. So th the subplots are actually required when we want to show two or more plots in the same figure, which means that when we want to show um, a lot of information in a very compact space, we use the concept of subplots, which means uh, multiple plots in a single figure or a graph. So that is what we will learn to do in this video. So without any delay, let's get started. So basically, there are two methods um, for making the subplots. So I'm going to go through them one by one. So the first method is quite a simple one and it's used when you have um, the plots of uniform size. Um, so let us start with this particular method, which is this one. So first of all, um, you can simply make subplots by dividing your figure or graph paper into equal parts. So the method of representing each subplot in that particular method is that you just uh, specify them using three numbers. So these three numbers are two, two, two. So what does this mean is that you have a two cross two figure in which you are talking about the second subplot. So here, as you can see in this diagram, you have 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 2, 4. So this is the first, second, third and fourth subplot in the given 2 cross 2 um, figure, you can say. So let us try to see how it works. So first of all, I am importing the macro li library and I already have a utility function which I will use for drawing um, multiple plots. So I just set the value of x axis values by put using the np.a range function. So for that, let me import numpy as np. So I just set the value of x axis and then according to the, the type of the um, plot that you require, like linear, I just set the value of y, like y equal to x, y equal to x square and so on. So this is my just a utility function to generate the coordinates for any given type of plot. So now here comes the main thing that how to draw a subplot. So in this first method, the first thing that you have to do is you have to specify a figure object. PLT.figure will create a new figure for you. Now a figure object can have multiple subplots. So how do you make them? So for doing that, using the method one, all you have to do is you have to use the add underscore subplot method in which you pass that number, which represents the position of your subplot in the figure. So two to one is this first position then it is 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 2, 4. So that is what I have done here in order to create my four subplots, which I'm referring as PLT1, PLT2, PLT3, and PLT4. So now if I want to draw anything in my first subplot, I will do PLT1.plot X and Y. Similarly, PLT2.plot and so on. So this is the method of making multiple subplots. So here I am just generating the values of for X and Y axis. And then I'm using PLT1.plot and putting X and Y and the color of my subplot, um, the line in my subplot. And also I am just using the set underscore title function to set the title for um, my subplot. So in this way, I have written a very simple code for generating uh, multiple subplots and let us see what happens. So look at that, we get a nice looking figure which contains four subplots. So here is the first one, y equal to x, y2 equal to x square, x cube, x e power four, and we have all the four, uh, we have all the four figures here in front of us, so, so which is looking quite cool. So one problem that you might have when you try to make subplots is that you will have some problems adjusting the space between your subplots. So for that, there is a function called subplots underscore adjust in the uh, figure object in the figure class actually. So the figure object can call the subplots underscore adjust function in which you can specify the space you require along the horizontal axis or the width that you require and then you can have some more space. So if I just make it 1.5 instead of 0 0.5, I will have a bit more space, right? So in this way, you can just um, adjust the space between your subplots. So yeah, so this was the method one, which is quite easy to use. As you can see, all you have to do is just specify the position of your subplots in the given um, figure. So this method is actually quite useful when you know that all the subplots that you have are of the same size. Now just try to think that what if 
you need one subplot to be covering this particular area and then two subplots to be of these sizes. So in that case, you cannot do this with this same approach. So for that, you need something more flexible. And here is a flexible approach, which is the method two, which is the grid method. So in a grid method, what you do is you consider your figure to be composed of a grid like structure. So in your grid like structure, you have some rows and some columns. So what you do is you just specify that how much rows and how many columns will your subplot will be taking and what will be its um, position in that particular figure. That is all you need to tell. And then you can just go on and do the work with your subplot. So let us try to see an example to understand this first. So again, I have a another utility function, which is called create underscore plot, which takes the um, value of the P type, which is the plot type. And if it is sign plot, then we just generate a sign plot. Otherwise, we generate an exponential plot and so on. So it is just a utility function. And now here comes the main thing that how do I generate my subplots? So for doing that, all you have to do is you have to use the subplot to grid method of your um, pyplot module. So in this method, all you have to pass is the size of the grid that you want to have. So for example, I have specified the size of my grid in my graph to be seven cross seven. So what it means is that I have this sheet and I have seven rows and seven columns. So as you can count here, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven along here as well. So this is how I have divided my figure into some multiple grids. Then you have to pass the top left corner coordinates of your subplot. So the top left corner coordinates of my this subplot is 0, 0. For this, it is 4, 0, 4, 4. So I have just specifying 0, 0, 4, 0 and 4, 4. So these are my top left corner coordinates. And finally, you have to specify how many rows should your subplot span and how many columns should your subplot span. So for example, for my first subplot, I want it to span along three rows and seven columns. So I just specified as row span equal to three and call span equal to seven. But for the other two, I want them to be of three cross three size. So row span is three, call span is three. So that is what I have done here. So in this way, we have just specified the size and the position of our subplot in the actual graph. And finally, there is nothing special now. You just get the X and Y axis values and then you just plot plt1.plot, plt2.plot and plt3.plot. And also I'm just using the legend function. So plt1.legend, 2 and 3 will just plot the legends as well. So here you go. Here is uh, the figure that we wanted to have. So this is the first subplot which is covering seven um, grids along the um, horizontal axis. So it is having seven rows along seven rows and three columns and it is having three rows, three columns, three rows, three columns. So in this way, we have created another kind of subplot thing by using the grid method. So yeah, so this was all about how to create the subplots. You have two ways of doing that. If you already know that what uh, if you already know that um, all the subplots are of uniform size, then you can go with the method one with which you can just simply specify the position of each subplot in your graph, in your figure. But if you have want to be a bit more flexible, then you can go on with a grid approach in which you have to specify the top left corner coordinates and the row span and the column span. So this will make your subplot. So I hope the concept of subplots is clear. If you still have any doubts, you can put them in the comment section below. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.